right, so let's answer the question. What does a typical day of eating look like on a high raw vegan diet? Well, it depends on the amount of meals. Now, the, the amount of meals that I suggest normally ranges in between three to four. Now, each meal does a specific thing, right? So your first meal of the day should hydrate you. Uh, it should flood your body with vitamin C, potassium, an abundance of carbs and simple energy that your body can easily metabolize and use for energy. The caveat with that, right, is because um, this meal is typically going to be very water-rich sweet fruit. So watermelon, cantaloupe, uh, honeydew, pineapple, mangoes, things like that, right? And, you know, it's roughly going to be, uh, have a caloric value of around three or 400 calories, right? Maybe even more in certain cases. Um, so if you are insulin resistant, pre-diabetic or full-blown diabetic, keep in mind that this type of meal uh, should come about an hour to two hours after you wake up, okay? So if you have these kind of metabolic issues, it'd be a good idea that when you first wake up in the morning that you start your day with some type of herbal tea. This can be moringa tea, matcha tea, ginger tea, ashwagandha tea, things like that, right? Um, and these are teas that can help to regulate cortisol levels, you know, that stress hormone that you first wake up with. And in fact, uh, if you are insulin resistant, pre-diabetic, full-blown type two diabetic, and you're very stressed, maybe you've got poor sleep quality, chances are you're waking up early in the morning uh, with high blood sugar, right? We're talking blood sugar of 180, 195, 200. I've even seen 230, right? So those teas come with these antioxidants and things that help to bring that blood sugar back down. So it would be a good idea to wake up first thing in the morning. You do some stretching, mobility exercises, maybe walk for a mile or two or so. Wake up in the morning, uh, do some meditation, a quick cold shower, that kind of thing. Bring that stress down, some form of lifestyle therapy. And then, right, of course, it, it should be by that time an hour or two after you wake up. And that's when you have that first meal, right? You really enjoy that beautiful, sweet fruit. Um, now, after that, you're probably going to work. Uh, this will be a great way to start your day, by the way, if you're going to work, because that fruit and stuff will give you some mental alertness and give you some feel-good hormones, dopamine, endorphins, serotonin, that kind of thing, right? So you get to go into work focused and with a good mood, right? And these types of foods bring down stress, and they can also be very beneficial if you're a person uh, who deals with a, a lot of anxiety and depression, mental health issues, things like that, right? Um, having a meal like that is also great to have before a workout, right? And so exercise and even doing something like going for a walk, right? You can go for the walk before your first meal or you can go for the walk after your first meal. And going for that walk also helps to burn fat at a higher rate because it increases blood oxygen, right? And oxygen is the essential key ingredient to fat metabolism, okay? Fat meta metabolism is all about um, optimizing blood oxygen, right? Because that oxygen is gonna, is gonna help to metabolize that fat and use it for energy, right? So you do your workout, right? You have your fruit, you do your workout, and then afterwards, maybe like, uh, let's say two hours afterwards or so, right? So this will probably take you into around, I don't know, 10, 11, maybe 12 o'clock in the day, and you have your second meal. And this can be like coconut yogurt with a variety of, you know, berries. Let's say a cup of strawberries, a cup of blueberries, a slice of banana, two tablespoons of chia seeds, crushed walnuts, that kind of thing, right? Uh, a, a nice, nutrient-rich, high-protein, carbohydrate-rich diet, fiber, probiotics from the coconut yogurt, all that type of stuff, loaded with antioxidants and everything like that, right? And you may say, hey, banana spikes my blood sugar, but the chia seeds and the berries and the coconut yogurt work to regulate your blood sugar, right? So you shouldn't see too much of a spike there. And so you have a meal like that. The second meal, or I should say the third meal after that would probably be like around maybe, let's say, two or three o'clock, four o'clock at the latest, right? Four o'clock's kind of pushing it though. And that's when you can have an apple with a couple uh, cups of grapes, or you can have a grapefruit with a few tangerines and a cup of grapes, or a few kiwis, something along those lines, right? And 
you can have that with leafy greens and have like a big uh, fruit salad bowl, right? That kind of thing. And that would be the third meal of the day. And that's going to be a bit more low glycemic, right? Grapes are actually low on the glycemic index because anything that is a 55 and below on the glycemic index, uh, generally speaking, is good to go, specifically if you're insulin resistant, pre-diabetic, or full-blown uh, diabetic, right? Um, so you got the dark leafy greens in there, whether it be spinach, spring mix, watercress, pulled kale, things like that, that helps to regulate blood sugar, right? And then if you have apple, you have that rich fiber, the apple pectin that also helps to regulate blood sugar. And then on top of that, to drink with the meal, to regulate your blood sugar even more, you can drink ginger tea with that meal. You can drink turmeric tea right, with that meal. You can drink chai tea with that meal, and that will also help to regulate blood sugar. And then finally, let's say around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock at the latest, right? You have your fourth meal, and that would be with things like avocado, uh, cashews, pistachios, or pumpkin seed kernels, diced onions, diced bell peppers. Um, you can put nutritional yeast in there, salsa, mix all that in with some dark leafy greens like chopped bok choy, spinach, pulled kale, uh, spring mix, or a variety of all these things, arugula, right? Uh, things like that and have a nice big salad, right? Where it's not very carbohydrate rich. That's where you're getting most of your fats for the day. So that's going to be a particularly uh, low glycemic meal to have later in the day where it's going to be very rich in copper, uh, iron, magnesium, calcium, uh, omega-3 essential fatty acids, things like that, right? And it's also going to be a very protein rich meal, right? And that can be the final meal for the day. And then to finish off, that's when you have uh, ginger tea with it, turmeric tea, things like that, ashwagandha tea, just to settle down and relax. You could do fennel Greek tea along with it as well. Um, and then that pretty much is going to be like a, an example of what a full day of eating would look like. Now, if this is something that sounds like it would fit well with you and this is something that you'd like to do, but... Perhaps you're looking for a personalized diet plan and support working with a coach, someone to mentor you through the process of getting on your wellness journey. There is a link in the description, and one of the options there is to actually book a call with me, right? So you can speak to me live and get all of your questions answered. And if you're interested and want to sign up for some coaching, we could move forward from there. So having said that, uh, looking forward to talking to you soon.